good morning i know i look very tired and just very disheveled but it is a beautiful saturday morning like the sky is clear the trees are starting to get their leaves back it's supposed to be a high of 83 degrees today like i'm so excited and i want to spend i don't want to say the majority of my day because i know myself but i want to spend a good portion of today outside because i just and here's a little bit of tea, y'all. So actually, when I was touring apartments, I did not tour this floor plan. I toured our model, and there was literally an available apartment three doors down from our model that was the exact same that I was going to get. At the last second, like the day that I was applying, I decided to just look through the other floor plans, and I saw this floor plan, and it had a balcony. And I'm like, we never toured any units with balconies. Like, I didn't know this, so I shoot him a message, and I'm like, hey, like, is this really available? Like, I was just asking questions. And, you know, this is my first time applying for apartments, so I was so confused. Anyway, I'm not trying to talk long because we have a lot that we need to do now. But basically, this unit that's a little bit bigger, I think it's like 50 square feet bigger, and it had a balcony was available. And I was like, oh, mom, I want a balcony so bad. Like, I would say that during the pandemic, my mom really got me into the routine of just going outside and just getting that vitamin D, getting that fresh air, like, you know? So I decided I would pay a little bit more for the balcony, and it really wasn't that much. Like, like I said, we would spend a good majority of our time outside. And so we could do that either by sitting out on my balcony or I could actually utilize one of the amenities that I'm obviously paying for in my rent. We have this beautiful, um, it's not, it's technically rooftop, but it's not at the top of our building. It's at like floor five, maybe. I don't remember. But yeah, it's on floor five because that was the floor I was going to live on. That's where like most of our like social amenities are. But we have this beautiful terrace. They don't have all the chairs outside yet. So we need to go downstairs and check and see like what do they have going on. So we could either sit on my balcony. We could go enjoy our terrace, rooftop terrace. Or we could go to a park and sit. I'm leaning more so towards the rooftop terrace because it's out of my apartment. Who knows? I may meet some people while I'm there. And it'll just be nice to like be in a new environment. And like see do residents use this like when it's still like... A nice day but it's not summer yet and i don't know i just think it'll be kind of cool i think there's like tv depending on where i sit there are tvs out there so i could watch something while i'm doing my thing and what i want to do i want to read and or paint i really want to like focus on painting y'all i haven't painted in so long and i have literally all my materials here so i would love to do that but yeah i've been chatting for a while but that is what we want to do today i'm going to make a good dinner today um, one of my favorites that i used to make with justin all the time so before we get in the shower and just have a good shower morning, I want to run downstairs to see like what the chair situation is, like chair and table, because I need a table. And I know we have chairs and tables inside, but I want to sit outside. So I'm going to go like quickly, just throw on some clothes, see what that whole vibe is. I'm going to take you all along because I've never showed you guys that part. I, I really don't show the amenities that much. So I'm going to show you guys. I think you guys will really like it. So this is what the room looks like. You have a fridge, a seating space, a game, lots of storage, sink and stuff. I think I've been in here once, one time, when I um, left my gas range on <laughs> for a couple hours. But I think this is a good place to work. And we have friends you can play. I think it's called Shuffleboard. But yeah, this is so cute. Really nice out here, but there's not a lot of seating. So maybe I could like sit right there, but I don't know. Also, it's pretty windy outside, so maybe I'll just sit out here. I don't know. I really want fresh air. So maybe I'll just stay in my my balcony in my apartment. Okay, so sorry I didn't show you guys as much. Oh, I always get so funny that somebody's gonna walk in. But if I do go down there, I will show you guys like more in detail of the rooftop terrace, but um I don't know like i want to so maybe like when i'm ready to go and paint maybe i will actually like go out there like bring my stuff and if i hate it i'll just pack it up and come outside but there's only two places to sit outside that have tables right now we usually have like a bunch of lounge chairs like usually it can fit a lot of people but i think because it's not really summer yet it hasn't been consistently warm they're probably not going to put that stuff out until probably may 
or like um what is it called memorial day weekend hopefully do it before then because it should be like may it should be warm on a consistent basis but anyway let's see what it feels like with my balcony i'm sitting out here and i like it i will say one thing i'm not too crazy about when it comes to my balcony is the, the rails or whatever like the thing it's high so like right now i literally can't see much so I, i've been thinking about my outdoor furniture i've been thinking about getting like bar height furniture but i don't know but this is actually nice it covers me from the sun i don't know i think my first preference is still going to be the terrace just for today just to get out of my apartment but um yeah we'll see but I also i don't know i'm gonna go back inside i need to get like a bug door for my balcony door just in case bugs fly up here i don't know so i did purchase some stuff from the sephora annual sale a few weeks ago and it's just been sitting in this box but i did buy this um salicylic acid cleanser my mom gave this to me maybe a year it was during sometime during the beginning of the pandemic and i liked it um so i bought some more i think we're gonna use this today also what i really like about this brand i've only used i think just this one product but i like how they have like different categories of what this will fit in so this is specifically just for cleaning your face don't expect this to to moisturize your face like obviously that's kind of like common knowledge but just in case so i think this is really really cool um i definitely need something to i don't get blackheads but i don't know what's going on with my skin right now y'all i feel good i feel good my delicious breakfast burrito is nice and hot and then we have a glass of cranberry juice and I'm probably gonna watch a trip service on YouTube. It's pretty embarrassing, so I, I should really not wear this on the internet, but whatever. It's pretty embarrassing, so I don't talk about it too much, but my skin, I just don't know why I have the skin texture that I have. My mom was like, it was probably related to dairy, which it could be. And I just don't have the willpower to stop it and find out. But yeah, I just, it's so much texture and it's not like pimples. Like I'm not a girl who gets a lot of pimples, but like, I don't, it's just texture like I don't have smooth skin and I don't know why and it's like scars from I don't even know what they're from because I feel like I've had this my entire like young adult life I don't know it's frustrating it's annoying sometimes that sometimes there are really really good days but I feel like I just need to create a skincare routine and follow it I don't have a routine I just like wake up and use what I want to use if I want to exfoliate one day a week I'll do that if I want to exfoliate five times a week I'll do that if I want to use my beautiful toner that I love and I need to use every single night my dark spot toner I do if I don't feel like it I don't so that's embarrassing but that's honestly the truth I feel like we only hear about people who have this perfect skincare routine, but like for those of us that don't, like I think we really should. Anyway, I don't wanna talk about this anymore. I'm getting in the shower. I had a really great breakfast and I wanna clean up because uh, just I need to put stuff up. So we're gonna clean quickly and then find our paint stuff and then see if we can go downstairs and just chill. So I'll probably just plug in my AirPods and my phone just so that they're charged. Cause I don't know if there's outlets out there. There probably are, but just in case. And then, yeah, so I'll check in with y'all after everything's clean. I'm not going to show you guys that because it's not really exciting, but I'm getting excited. It's so, the sun has gone back in, but it just feels so good and it's nice and breezy. I love. Woke up this morning feeling a little strange. The state is falling. I don't feel it. All right, I did all of the cleaning that I wanted to do for my kitchen. It is nice and clean. Um, I guess I didn't tell you guys what my makeup look for today. It is something very basic. I use this Anastasia Brow Freeze for the first time and I actually like it. It's holding my brows down. Then I did just a little bit of mascara. I meant to put some like color underneath, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Then no, okay, I'm not wearing like liquid foundation, but I did put concealer under my eyes and then I used the Urban Decay Powder Foundation. Really like it. I think it's a great color on me. A little bit of contour. My highlight from my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit or glow, glow palette, whatever it is. But yeah, very simple look. Um, I think this would be a great work look, actually. Very simple, but I think it's cute. Um, so yeah, now it's a good thing I sat here because I was about to say we need to see if I can find my paint supplies. I told you guys, I think I just told you, I think I told you this, but I just came home recently back from Detroit um, and I brought... I left some paint and some paint brushes there. My mom found them. They were accidentally in my like giveaway box. Thankfully she found those. I got this as a Christmas gift from a coworker last year. So I have those handy in a suitcase, but I didn't know where my um, 
easels were not easels my canvas but it's in my entertainment center so let's go get that eventually i need to make this cute like right now i really just have not done much with this so and here oh huh well my canvas isn't in here but my sketchbook is and i'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff i've done in the past disclaimer i am not an artist like that is not like that's not i'm just not that good but I just really love doing this and I think I can do some pretty decent things. Um, my dad actually used to be really, really good with drawing. So I feel like I got it from him because it's not my, my mom is like, that's not her at all. Okay, this looks strange, especially this part, but it was actually a picture of me. I was trying to re-emulate it. I think I did a really good job with like the head, but this looks, I mean, that's probably how it actually looked, but whatever. This was, wow, April, 2020. Then I just did some little sketches here one day not bad we got pair the platypus that was really cool go Ariam. kermit spongebob squidward some cat this is so cute let's see what else oh y'all i did okay i'm gonna show my instagram this i did this little drawing last year of chicago so why didn't you start putting the dates on there i like how i did that i was just at house of blues and i really want to go to a bulls game but i thought that was cool Oh, a picture of Justin. I didn't really like this one that much. I don't even think I showed him the final product, but actual picture that we took together in our Bulls jerseys. I think our sophomore year of college. Uh, fail. Fail. The baby. Oh, I had a coloring phase, y'all. A very strong coloring phase. So this is like the, the baby, but Rugrats version. Uh, I started this um, a little after George Floyd died. Was trying to do like the Black Lives Matter fist, and then I was doing different pictures of those who have died. I'm sure you guys are able to recognize some of these outlines. Um, we all know this is Breonna Taylor, this is Trayvon Martin, and so on. So, yeah, I, I would love to finish this, but I don't remember my vision. I don't know what that is. Oh, my fave, my Air Force One painting. Love that. Another drawing with some crayon shading. My black is beautiful. Oh, this is kind of cool. I should finish that. Uh, another picture I tried to do of Justin and I, but I made his head way too small. I'm not good with people. That's like not my thing. Oh, I remember this. I was doing this with my cousin. Um, yeah, that's it. So maybe I'll do this instead of the canvas if I can't find it, but good memories in this thing. Okay, I feel so silly, but we got the big bag. It's packed. Y'all, fingers crossed. I hope I didn't do all of this just to come back upstairs and do this on my balcony, but all right. Lego. It smells like wet dog in this elevator. Mm. Okay, not sure if you guys can hear me, but it's actually quite windy out here. And I actually think it's too windy for me to really focus. I don't know, maybe I'll just like sit out here and sketch and maybe I'll do the painting inside. But it feels really, really good. It just is like quite windy. Uh, and there's literally nobody out here, so. Yeah, y'all, it's it's way too windy. It feels really good, but I think I'm just gonna go back inside though. Okay, so I decided to move inside and I can hear an ambulance, but it still feels good in here. Not windy. And um, yeah, so I might just turn on like the rest of the church service I was watching, but it's so peaceful. Like I'm surprised nobody is in here right now. This is like such a cool room. I may like come down here and work one day. Like if I don't have any meetings, like, I don't know. Sorry, y'all. I was on the phone with my mom, and I totally forgot to show you guys while I was drawing. Um, this is gonna be interesting, so I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, this is what it's looking like. That is what it should look like. I think my person definitely has more rounded features, but yeah. So let's see if it actually ends up looking like this. This brand new orbit is where I wanna stay. Goes on my past, see him all that close now. get over how windy it is it is so windy anyway back in the apartment i just threw all my stuff back there i'm so proud of what i did it's obviously like not perfect sorry i'm trying to find a comfortable position it's not perfect but i think it turned out way better than i honestly expected it to so i was down there probably from like 1 30 to 
five oh yeah so about five five o'clock so yeah i'm about to go take out my trash i need to take some boxes downstairs but i just don't feel like doing that right now so we're just gonna take out the trash and then we're gonna have dinner i am excited i am hungry very very hungry well not very very hungry but i am hungry like i need to eat so yeah so for dinner we're gonna make some veggie meat this meat it's called um like fried chick me and my boyfriend love it um, my boyfriend's a vegetarian if you guys didn't know that so we're gonna have that. We're gonna make some homemade mashed potatoes, courtesy of Justin. Technically, I made the mashed potatoes, but I was trying to follow his recipe and I didn't follow it to his standards or whatever, but he makes really good mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna try. Um, then we're gonna do spinach and I wanted to make garlic bread, but I just realized I forgot to go buy the fresh bread. So we're just gonna do like regular, you know, frozen garlic bread. So we are gonna do this, mashed potatoes and um, some spinach and garlic bread. I was gathering my seasonings. Um, I need flour too. But yeah, so basically with this, I make like a flour, a seasoned flour mix. Um, I dip the fried chick in there and then we fry it. So yeah, it's, it's really good. Like this is like my boyfriend's method that I've stolen. Step one, we are going to scrub, wash, and peel our three potatoes. Hopefully this is not too much. Um, I personally suggest always scrubbing potatoes. Y'all, there's so much dirt on these things. I mean, you can kind of even feel it when you rub them. So I have a, um, a, a vegetable brush that I just use. Um, I clean it as well as I can. And then I use my little simple potato peeler. I think I got this from target i want to say i hate when my dishwasher doesn't dry stuff all the way but yeah so we're going to use that and then we're going to put them all in a cold uh pot of water and then we're going to boil them So now we're going to make our seasoned flour mixture. And I honestly don't measure anything out. Um, I just go based off of vibes. I put like maybe half a cup of flour. And I'm not making a lot because it's only two small cans. So we don't need too much. And we can always add more later. Then I'm going in with my vegan chicken seasoning. I like a good amount of that. A little poultry seasoning. I normally don't use poultry seasoning, but I wanna see if this makes a difference. We're gonna do some Mrs. Dash. Can't be afraid of adding seasoning because remember, so, uh, flour is bland. Some Cajun, some pepper, and then just a little, like a little salt, just a little, like that's it. Then we need a spoon and we're gonna mix and then I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, and since we poured so much flour in here, the seasoning is like so minor in comparison, so. Okay, you can see this is our seasoned flour. So uh, we need to get some oil in our frying pan, heat it up, and then we'll start frying the fried chick. Normally I cut my fried chick in half just cause I try to make it last a little bit longer, but since it's just me and I'll probably only eat this for two meals, we're still gonna keep them whole and they'll be nice and juicy. Yeah, and probably as soon as I start, actually no, I'm gonna start boiling the potatoes now cause sometimes when you be boiling potatoes, sometimes it takes longer than you actually hope. So um, Justin said, after it starts boiling, cook it for another 15 minutes. And then of course you pierce it with a fork knife or whatever. And when it's to the softness of your desirability, you drain. <laughs> So we have our tin cover. They look like little powdered donuts things, but guys, I promise you, they are good. Like this is like a staple. It's like a treat because I don't have this very often. But um, yeah, so the oil's heating up. I'm gonna get some tongs, got my tongs, and we're just gonna fry them on up. Since I'm only doing 10, I'll probably just do five at a time. And as soon as I'm finished with that, I'm gonna start on the gravy. But oop, the oil's hot. I love my pans, I love my stove, but stuff gets hot so fast that will be popping, so I'm gonna cool it down for a second. I'll probably cook the spinach at the same time that I'm doing the gravy, I think. 
So, so many things going on. I'm not following this recipe, but I just want to see like how she makes it. Um, but those look pretty good. I love thick potatoes, but I'm actually gonna use my hand mixer to actually whip the potatoes. I was reading over this and it said, in a large bowl, whip the potatoes using a whisk or a handheld mixer. So we're gonna use a handheld mixer. I haven't used this since Thanksgiving. Um, I need to get the attachment piece, the potatoes we're gonna pour in here and then we're gonna do our thing. great all I have left to do I decided I'm gonna pop my fried chick in the air fryer to see if I can crisp it up a little bit more and then I need to make my garlic bread and my spinach the gravy is probably the best gravy that I've made and it's still light outside so I think I'm gonna take my little you guys know my little TV uh, trays outside since I still don't have patio furniture and like sit out there and eat that's what I'm thinking like it's still light outside like I didn't get to go outside like I wanted to so like why not just enjoy the last few moments of daylight outside, probably on my laptop, watch something while I'm out there. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Like, I think that'd be a nice way to like end Saturday before we get into Saturday night. Right, now it's time to plate the food. Yum. Okay, about to go outside. <laughs> All right, y'all, hopefully it doesn't get too windy where my stuff is in jeopardy, but it feels so good outside. I think that's something everybody always has been kind of craving is this relatability factor. And I think that a lot of women- Even though I wish I could just lay on my couch and watch TV all day, I can't. I need to do dishes. <laughs> no fun. Right now I love it. I feel good even with no makeup on. I feel good. Nothing but a t-shirt on. As the minutes progress, I'm getting more and more unmotivated, so. I think we're gonna have to light a candle to help with the motivation. Maybe this plate, this has a direct correlation to our motivation. I got this candle, it's this John 316 candle from um, a cheer sister, my senior year. Honestly, one of my favorite candles. It literally smells like vanilla bean, which is my favorite scent for candles. And my cramps are coming back, so I think I'm gonna take another Advil. I'm always so hesitant about taking them, but there's really no harm with taking it, right? Lego. One candle. To, oh man, I meant to chop the wick. Not chop it, but you know, cut it. I meant to do that. I forgot. Well. the kitchen is looking like it's not perfect i still have like some stuff laying out i don't like putting my paintings like i don't like closing the notebook until like a day or two has gone by sometimes it'll stick um but yeah everything looks good my candle smells absolutely amazing i think i'm about to go wash my makeup off before it gets like too late and i'm too tired um i need some water and then i think we're just gonna lay on the couch and watch tv nothing better than having a clean and like soft face at night i love it I need to moisturize, then I'm about to go lay on my couch because the cramps are kind of like, I don't know if they're coming back, but they're making themselves apparent. Toy, toy. 